yeah, the paramount king of Igbo community in Ghana. And I'm in the name Very good evening to you, sir. Good evening. Um, <laughs> so, do you do you understand Chi? For instance, welcome. If I should say welcome in Chi, do you understand? Of course, those are little ones. I can understand it. Oh, those little ones you can. <laughs> but how I was doing my introduction and all that, you didn't hear anything. Uh, in between, little in between. by little. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when I'm able to blend the English with a G. Uh, At least you have a clue that. Give me this some <laughs> navigation, you know. Uh, uh, we, we are very happy to have you tonight. Thank you. Okay. Um, to start with, before one can become a king of the Igbo community in Ghana, must you come from the royal family in Nigeria before you can be a king in Ghana? No. It all depends on the choice of the people. Okay. And um, the love the people have for you and also how hardworking you are. Okay. Number four, the passion you have for the people. Okay. It's all about diaspora. So as we're diasporans here in Ghana, mm -hmm. we are not like the Igbos that live in Nigeria. Nigeria. We all came here for a greener pasture. But because Igbos were people that we celebrate culture a lot, mm -hmm. we too much depend on our culture and in our traditions. Mm -hmm. So anywhere we find ourselves, we must make sure we have this community together, yes. coming together. Uh, and while we are coming together, we need to identify with our culture. Okay. So identifying with our culture now, we around somebody to lead that cultural structure. Okay. How can you lead without the people loving you? You can't do it alone. Okay. You can't make yourself a king okay. of the people in diaspora. It's the people that are going to choose you. So it doesn't mean whether you come from a royal home or it does not come from a royal okay. home. As long as you are an obedient leader, obedient okay. man, submissive to the authority of your people, that ends it. OK. How long have you been in Ghana? I've lived in Ghana for 29 years. <laughs> His Royal Majesty. And you can speak fluent in Chi. It's probably, and it, it, you know, one bad part of it. My wife's a Ghanaian. No, I mean, so, okay. I married uh, a beautiful Ghanaian let me, from, let me, from, from Central Region. I, honestly, I was coming to ask whether your, your, your wife is from Ghana or Nigeria. You're married to a Ghanaian. Ghanaian. And I believe you have kids as well. Wonderful children, five biological children. Are they able to speak Chi? Very well, fluently. Chi and, and, uh, and daddy and, can uh, Chi and, uh, <laughs> and uh, Fanti. Fanti. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, have you tried to make an attempt of speaking Chi? You know, some people are not good in languages. Mm. Somebody like me. Uh, the English language I can speak is because I, I acquired that from education. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But my local language, Igbo, I flow very well. Okay. Every other language is difficult for me to, mm. to flow in it. So everybody, some people are very good in languages. Mm -hmm. As soon as they get into a country, within two, three months, they They're catch able up. to speak. But somebody like me, oh, forget it. <laughs> 29 years. Okay, well, let's see the position of being a king. Hmm. It takes a lot, dedication, hard work, and all, and even at some point, you need to let go of your free life. Because as a king, you can live your life just as, I mean, excuse me, to an ordinary person. What actually inspired you to pick up that tax? I mean, your people know you're a very hardworking person, but looking at the tax ahead, looking at what comes with, you know, the glory, what inspired you to pick up that tax? You see, the Bible says that many are called, but few are chosen. And when you are choosing one, the spirit in you can farm it. Mm. No matter how stubborn you are, you don't want to pick it. As long as God has chosen you, he must surely do that. Just like what Jonah, what happened to Jonah in the book of Bible, mm -hmm. as God sent him, he refused to go. But God still forced him by the will to take him over there and vomit him there. So myself, I've never, ever dreamt in my life that I'm going to be a king. All mm -hmm. I know is I'm a successful businessman. 
Another part of my life, I came from a very poor home. My father was a teacher. My mom was just an ordinary farmer. So I, I never knew in my life that God would lift me to this level of life that I'm going to be a king outside Ibo land. So uh, if somebody tell me this like a prophecy, uh, I might not believe it. But as it happened, I, I don't even know how it happened. A lot of my friends are even surprised that I, I, I pick up these uh, uh, tax because I'm not a talking type. I'm not um, Ghanaians who say giddy giddy. I'm mm -hmm. not a uh, uh, laid back you know, kind yes, of person. Yes, you know, yeah. So I mean, I'm somebody. I, I go my way, mm. but everybody is aware that kinship is all about struggling. You know, maybe fighting, maybe dragging and all that. People never believe I'm gonna. Uh, you know, accept such position, but it's not by my, by my my will to be there, but by the grace of God, I'm here. So many a times, people ask the same question: Why did you pick it up? Uh, how, how? Why? What prompted you? But God made it possible. That's why all the time I give Him glory, glory for making it possible. Okay. So what are some of the core values? What are the things that you know guide you that keeps you, you know, going for you to be? I mean, a successful king. I I don't know how long you've been. On that, you know, position. How long? Um, this month will be exactly twelve years. Really? Thirtieth of August, twenty twenty twelve, two thousand twelve. Wow. Yeah. So okay, then I mean, you you're in the best position to answer these questions. Okay. I mean, what what are some of the core values? Um, first, I have to go into what keep me going. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, grace of God. And that grace of God in me is the only thing that has given me the strength to move. Mm -hmm. And thank God he made it possible for me to know him. I submit all my life to God. I submit my discussions to God. I submit my communications to God. I submit my daily activities to God. Mm. Everything I do, I submit to him. I'm somebody, I woke up in the morning, before I, when I, before I go out in the morning, I kneel down and pray to God. I, I, even, I, even, I even bow down my forehead before God. I say, God, you are the king of kings. I've given all glory back to you. Lead me. I come back in the night, before I go to bed, I bow to him, I say, with all the respect everybody has given to me today, people that bow to me, I say, the king, I've given all glory back to you because you're the king of kings. So uh, uh, he has been the one taking me through all these um, kingship because you can't do it alone. And if you depend on human being, they will fail you. But when you depend on God, he will be able to bring men and women to you that will be able to rule, walk, lead with you. Mm. But as soon as you leave him behind, they become empty. So the person who called you on that throne, you did not reverence him anymore. Then you become empty. So it will be difficult for you to excel. You might think you are doing the right thing, but the eyes of the people, you are wrong. It might be good, but in the eyes of the people, you are wrong because the person that called you on that throne, you push him away, and you are now walking in with your own might and with your own... Um, you know, um, would I say ego or something like that? Or some of the people who also depend their life in like any things like a juju, mm -hmm. like all those things. Mm -hmm. That's not how you excel well because you depended on something that something. is not uh, godly. godly. So they will always give you wrong directions. Mm -hmm. So what keeps me moving is God Almighty. Wow. Your, your, your Highness. Per what you've just said, meaning you're a Christian. And, I mean, growing up, we used to watch Nigerian movies a lot. And in any movie where you find a king, automatically we have, you know, these traditional um, rulers in a way of the king consulting, you know, the fetish priest. Yeah, let me put it that way. Does it mean in your line of reigning, you don't 
you know, koto or you don't consult a fetish priest to see what goes on, I mean, on the land, I mean, um, to ask them questions and all that. But your submission is totally good. As I mean, when per our culture, these, you know, traditional or traditionalists and all that, we inculcate everybody and then, I mean, as part of our culture. How do you, as a Christian, how do you balance this? Or you've totally taken them out of your way? To me, like I keep saying, mm. your faith in the Lord determines where you go. Okay. Some people run away from thrones because they believe as soon as you go in there, you submit your life to the devil. Mm -hmm. No. It all depends on your belief. Because that fetish priest that is directing you what to do and what not to do depends the kind of God that he or she is. Mm. Many a times when we say these people are fetish priests, they are not. Most of those who call them fetish priests, they are very pure more than even pastors and more than reverend fathers. Everything in this world depends on how you see yourself and how you see the God you serve. Okay? The Bible and Jesus did not condemn the tradition of the Israel. He said he came to amend it. So there is tradition before Jesus, Jesus. was born. The elders were there before the king was born also. So Jesus did not come to damage or destroy those cultures, but he came to amend it. What are those amendments? The amendment is those that have sold their souls to devil. No, you don't need to go this way. You need to have uh, limitation. You don't need to overboard. And when you go overboard, that means you are giving praise and glory to the devil. But when you are like this, the same God that created you will also open your eyes to see things. So the same way we believe in some pastors that are prophets, talk to us. The same way some kings believe in fetish that also, you know, prophesies to them. But what I want to tell you here is those people who call them fetish priests, not that all of them submit their powers to devil. There is a certain video I was watching a couple of days ago, uh, our African traditional uh, um, herbalist, where they were operating a certain woman with a local knife and everything. They called them witch doctors. That's what the man who was showing in the Igbo, the witch doctors. Mm -hmm. Why do you call him a witch doctor? Because he's an African. But the normal doctors who see them today will call them English medical doctors, doctor. right? Mm -hmm. So it, it depends on how you look at it. But did that witch doctor deliver us? Mm -hmm. He delivered it. And that young girl that operated was beautiful. She was okay. All things went well. So to me, he's not a witch doctor. He, he or she is a doctor. Mm. And uh, that experience he implemented is God that gave him that experience and mm. gave him that idea to get it done. So witch doctors, we call them, it's not all of them that are witch doctors. It's not all of them that are fetish priests that are submitted to devil. So to me, sitting down here, everything that had to do with me, I don't consult any fetish, fetish, uh, fetish, fetish priests. Priest. I don't consult any um, prophets and prophetess. Myself, I consult God. Where we are now, there is God here. Mm -hmm. Some people drive all the way to maybe Nigeria, Kumasi, maybe somewhere here to go. <laughs> what, okay, have you ever think of this? As you are driving that mm -hmm. way, you can have accidents. Accident. Who is holding your life that time? Mm. You are going to meet a man that will tell you things that had to do with your life, that will protect you. What if you, before you get there, the man is dead? Before you get there, maybe the man, God has taken his breath away. He's not gonna breathe again. So who is the power, most powerful? It's God. So where we are now, there is God. If you go to the washroom, there is God. You are in your car, there is God. You are sleeping, there is God. So I consult him myself, and I know he's with me, 247. I'm not afraid of any human being in my life. I'm not afraid of nobody. People say, hey, they will kill you. 
Why do you allow yourself to take over, to take this position of kingship? I said, nobody can kill me. Before you kill me, you can kill Jesus God Christ. And it's impossible you cannot kill Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So, so I believe my faith in the Lord is what, what is moving me forward. Okay. Um, as, you know, Guineans, we do pride ourselves with our country being a safety place. Oh, I mean, our local dialect. Ghana, I mean, there's peace in Ghana. And you've been here for 29 years. Can you attest to the fact that it's a peaceful place? That is one. And how do you, you know, balance the Igbo culture in Alcatraz? How do you, you know, make or even integrate, you know, the, the culture? Ghana is the most peaceful country in the world. Oh. <laughs> Thank most... you peaceful country in the world is mm. Ghana. A country where as soon as you come in, you feel relaxed. Mm. The people of Ghana communicate very well. The people of Ghana welcomes people very well. Mm. The people of Ghana, they share even their food with you. No matter how poor some people you meet along the line in Ghana are, they still show you love. They want to eat with you. They want mm. to dine, with you, dine mm. with you. So, and in terms of security, Ghana is properly secured. Insecurity is not a problem in Ghana. So Ghana, one of the best peaceful countries oh, in the world. So we you. love Ghana. That is why <laughs> I'm staying you. here for 20 years. And even married to a Ghanaian and woman. Married a Ghanaian. <laughs> oh my God. So if the country is not peaceful, <laughs> maybe by now. Mm -hmm. Well, the country is good. Oh. And my wife too is the, one of the best women in the world. Hey. <laughs> Ghanaians don't disappoint too. No. <laughs> Correct. 100%. <laughs> So oh, thank I, you. I do tell my friends that mm. they're looking for for wife. wife. I say, come and marry Ghanaians. Hey. And also come and marry our daughters. <laughs> the ones that give birth. Yeah, because now you have a daughter of here. Of course, we have 50-50. 50% <laughs> Nigeria blood, 50% Ghana <laughs> blood. So Ghana is beautiful. Ghana is mm. good. I love Ghana. We all love Ghana. If we don't love Ghana, we're not going to be here. A lot of Nigerians are living in Ghana mm. and other African countries and um, other people from other continents. Ghana is beautiful. Ghana is good. So based on the question again you ask, how do we integrate our culture, Ghanaian culture? Actually, African culture is the same. Yeah, right. Just small. Slightest difference. Yes, just a little different. Even it is I same. mean our food, the same. our dance, our languages. Our lang yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I didn't see much difference from Ghana and Nigeria. You see, the Igbo people who celebrate, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Ghanaians, we have a yam festival. Good. Yeah. Ghanaians celebrate yam. His Majesty Togba Fede celebrates yam. Yeah. And many other kings mm -hmm. in Ghana. Now when you go to Bono region too. Exactly. To so Igbo people are major cultural celebration is yam. So yam in Nigeria, yam in Ghana, mm -hmm. yam in Togo, yam yeah. in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> yam everywhere. <laughs> yam everywhere. Yam, yam, yam everywhere. So, 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 so the, the culture is the same. I didn't see anything different in it. Just a little different out of it. But that's one. So it's easy to blend with two cultures. Then two, which is supposed to be the first before I say this. You know, as we are here in Ghana, without the approval of the owners of the land, mm. we will not be able to have a dash brand mm. structure that had to do with the dash brand kingship in Ghana. It's because we submit to the authority of the land, traditional authority of the land, government authority of the land. We submitted to it, and that is how by the special grace of God, we can dwell here mm. to have our own community as foreigners that live in Ghana. But the other way around, like I said, Africa, we are the same. It's just that the borders that demarcated us based on the um, power struggle of the colonial masters, mm -hmm. that will now have all those kind of, I mean, divisions Division. uh, from Nigeria now to Togo, Kotonu, French, Ghana, English, and all that. These are masters that have their own borders, that, you know, that separated them. If Africa can come back together and open their borders, we are the same. Mm. In Ghana, there are so many ethnic group languages. Yeah. Nigeria has over 200 something languages within a country, but we still call ourselves what Nigeria. Mm. So the culture of Africa is the same. So um, without the approval of the land, we're not going to do well. But 
I know a time will come in this world when Africans will come together and remove those borders. Mm. So you can see we'll be able to flow with each other 247. And that will be even that will attract more development for Africa. Anyway, this will be a matter yeah, for another time. <laughs> what I'm trying to say here is uh, we appreciate the people of Ghana mm. giving us the opportunity to dwell here as a community in Ghana. Okay. So the integration here is beautiful. And again, you see. The Igbo culture we established here in Ghana has even helped us more to get more closer to the people, mm -hmm. the people of Ghana, from grassroots to the highest level yes. of presidency. Why am I saying this? Ghana is a country that loves culture. Very. Everybody in Ghana loves culture, whether you're a pastor, whether you're... It, it, it's only in Ghana where I've seen pastors, when they are going to marry, they still bring schnapp yeah. to give. <laughs> but in Nigeria, they will tell you, Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, they will bring um, maybe mineral, mm -hmm. something like that. I was watching a wedding yesterday in DSTV, an Igbo wedding, when a woman supposed to give the husband palm wine. It was wine, ordinary English wine. I said, no, but this is not a culture. So going through the wedding, I realized that the, the, the daughters, the daughter, the father, mm -hmm. is a pastor. Say, but this is this is not how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But in Ghana, pastors, when they are going to the king, mm -hmm. they go with snap. Yeah. They are going for traditional right, they go with snap. So you can look at it, Ghanaians love culture. So for the establishment of Igbo culture here in Ghana has also bring more close relationship with Ghana. Then it's not just only in Ghana who have Igbo throne. It is um <clears throat> it is by the understanding of our forefathers back home mm -hmm. that anywhere Igbos are, we should yes. have, we should establish Igbo kinship. Yes. That brings our people more closer. Yes. Uh, you know, kinship had nothing to do with politics. Mm -hmm. As long as your people intone you there, you till the time God calls you home, mm -hmm. someone else also coming to okay. occupy the throne. It's not like uh, a political structure where, where for, after four years you go after. I was but actually then, coming to ask that, no, that no. is it by, you know, voting, you know, electing uh, it, you? It, it, it all depends. Like when they brought me out, uh, a couple of uh, months after, someone else also came up with that. He's also interested to occupy hey. that throne. <laughs> me, I'm not a troublesome uh -huh. person. After sitting down two years on that throne, the, 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 the community said they don't want controversy over the situation. They want to conduct the election, both of us. I said, no problem. If he wins me, bye-bye. Yeah. If I win... Thank God. So we had an election. I won the election. I'm there. Wow. So after my reign, by the special grace of God, after my old age, I die of another Igbo man. Oh, come. Oh, come. It is not a perpetual throne mm -hmm. for my family. Sure. It you is know, a perpetual occupy. throne for Igbo people. Mm -hmm. So someone else can come in to occupy that throne. Okay. I will keep moving. But this is teaching us mm -hmm. one who we are. Two. Our language because mm -hmm. the culture cannot excel well without your language. language. The culture is a language, language mm -hmm. is a culture. Yep, that's you what cannot. people will be able to identify. Who you are. Yeah, that is our identity. Mm -hmm. You can't perform the culture without the language. language. So we are promoting Igbo language, promoting Igbo attire, like mm -hmm. the white dress. You like it? Yeah, you look beautiful. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. So bring your husband so that I can, <laughs> you know. Do okay. something for him. I mean, when I get married, I'll bring my husband. You're not married yet. Oh, you got, I'll give you both. Do you like it, Do you like it, Bob? Do you like it, Bob? Some of these oh, ones are not married. Very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you anyway. look good. You anyway. look good. <laughs> so, you see, mm -hmm. um, to promote our, our dressing, mm -hmm. our attire, and you know, Igbo attire is so unique that anywhere we are, People want to, you know, identify us with that. Mm -hmm. These children, we are giving birth to them here. They need to know who they no. are. They need to know where they are coming from. Mm. They need to celebrate their culture and embrace their culture. These are the values of uh, Igbo that's brand throne. Mm. And we also need to, you know, uh, know what is right and what is wrong. Right. Because culture always teach you morals. Mm. It's true. Culture always teach you how to comport yourself. yourself. Culture will teach you how to respect your elders, even the younger ones. Culture teach you how to, you know, love everybody. everybody. Culture teaches you how to share, you know, not to have it alone, mm. but we need to extend to our people. Mm -hmm. The way Africans, 
you know, extend love and help to others. Mm -hmm. Westerners cannot do it like that. As soon as children are eight, eight years, mm -hmm. I mean, 18 years, they are out from the house, yeah. you know. But over here, we show love to the end of our parents. But Western world, they put their parents in, in old people's oh, yeah. home. But we take care of them till the day God gonna call sure. them home. So if we did not teach our people the generation, the culture, they would like to live like the Westerners. So within a short time, those love will fade away. Fade away. So our culture teaching us all this. Mm -hmm. Like every year we celebrate the Boyan Festival. From February, March, April, people are making their clothes, clothes. waiting for that big day mm. that, hey, we'll have a fixed date. The third week of every September is Ibo New Year Festival in Ghana. Parents are sewing clothes for their children. Young people are designing what they want to hear, mm -hmm. what they want to wear. Um, the youth are also trying to make up a costume that to represent the culture. So you see, the joy, you have, it's like you, have, you bring joy of the people to mm. them. Because as soon as you travel outside, you might stay one year without going home. Mm. You might stay six months without going home. But these things you're supposed to be seeing at home. You feel as if you're home already. So, 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 so we bring home to you, to you, to your doorstep where you are. Wow. That's exactly what we are. Wow. At the same time, promoting business. Business, it's true. Because even with a costume, you know, that is uh, someone's vocation. Business, oh, yeah. Business, oh, you yeah. know, doing that to earn money at oh, the end yeah. of the day. Oh, yeah. Wow, excellent. I mean, talking about diversity of culture, in, even in Ghana, I know Nigeria is the same thing. Do we have other tribes, you know, kingdom in Ghana as well, as in from Nigeria? Yeah, we have the, the Yoruba. Oh, okay. The Yoruba have their kingdom, yeah. In Ghana? Yeah, the KBC. The, 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 um, um, they are in, uh, I think, of Kanshi area there. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. And we have the, the, the Hausa people, the Sarikis. Mm. Yeah. It looks like the, the Igbos are very domineering. You, we hear more of you than, because with the celebration, I mean, we're even showing, you know, yeah. your festival mm -hmm. and all that. And I'm, I'm much aware of the Igbo festival. Mm -hmm. I hardly do I hear, you know, other. You, you, you see, tribes as well. naturally, every Boman is loud. Mm. Every Boman. Then, <laughs> then your your mother said, "Why? Why did you? I mean, get that?" I, I don't know. Maybe because my father was a teacher. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because because if so you, you ever, were being tamed. If you ever do nonsense, you're gonna uh -huh. take lashes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you know those days that are old teachers. You know, every time there's Ken. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, so they can. You must be humble you dare not. for seeing this. <laughs> so maybe something like that. But oh, then okay. naturally, every Boman, every Boman want to get something right. right. Every Boman want you to know that I'm here. Mm. Every Boman work hard. Mm. Every Boman package things very well. Every Boman believe that I can do it. Okay. Every Boman want uh, anything any Boman believe in. You want to do it right. Mm. So not that uh, the Yorubas are not doing their culture. They celebrate their culture very well in, in Ghana. Mm. But because of the way the, 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 the style is of Igbo man, mm -hmm. it now looks as if it's only Igbo, Igbo, Igbo. Igbo yeah. Yeah. So okay. we have powerful three tribes, tribes in Nigeria. Yeah. The Igbo, the Hausa, the Yoruba. Yeah. So these three tribes they also have that sprung throne here. Okay. Um, when, when, when you were talking, you made mention of you know, Ghanaians being, um, I mean, the, the charitable thing in us is so open. Like, when we're able to receive foreigners and all that, we're able to share. I want to know, at what point did you hear of Apostle Kojosafo? At what point? Was it through his, you know, philanthropic work or, you know, charitable things he's been doing, taking care of people? and all that, or his technology aspect. At what point did you hear his thing? What attracted me more is the technology aspect of his life. Oh. Because those days, uh, I like to watch Kantanka TV and other things. So I can see a man, uh, you know, you know, uh, one of the most things that he invented then was a television where he just waved the television. Yeah, the television you clap. Go, you clap the television, mm -hmm. you get up and all that. So I want to know who is this man. Mm -hmm. Then from there, Kantanka vehicles, a whole lot that Kantanka is producing. So I, I drive joy watching Kantanka okay. on television. 
Okay. So from there, one day I told uh, my friends, I said, I want to visit this man. Mm -hmm. It's not just only the things that he do. I also learned that he's a pastor. Sometimes I watch his preachings. Mm -hmm. I watch people come in to even take food and the whole lot from yeah. there. I said, I want to meet this man. There's grace of God in him. So I can also be imparted with that grace. Then along the process, to God be the glory, my people find me worthy to be their senior citizen mm. or their senior servant. Then, and I said, I think this is the time I need to meet also for Kantanka. Then I reached out to one of my sons called Gordon. He's a Ghanaian. Okay. So I said, look, I want to meet Sofo Kantanka. So he <laughs> brought me to uh, Dr. Wusu. Okay. So I met with Dr. Wusu. First meeting was here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been here two or three times for okay. interviews. So after meeting uh, Dr. Wusu, he made a appointment for me to meet with old man. So I met with old man, mm. and he told me that I'm his son. Wow. First meeting, he adopted me to be his son. <laughs> so... Anytime I want to see him, I don't need the uh, application. Uh, I just communicate. He said, my son, come. Uh, in, two, in two or three occasions, I was so surprised that one day we got there, he asked us to come to his bedroom. Wow. Yeah, he was on rapper. <laughs> I am my elder, so uh -huh. we came to his bedroom, and we spent quality time. That was the day he gave us the medication, the water medication. Yeah, yeah, emulate. Yeah, the, he, gave to us, he gave us in cartons. Wow. After oh, that. So you've tried emulate? Oh, yes. Oh, wow. After that, hey. he gave us again. So he's my father. I can see him anytime any I want to see time. him. So any day, I mean, every, is it January? He celebrates his uh, festival, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, uh, February. February. February, yeah. So every February I'm there. He wow. invites me. So... I love, um, one, I love the spirit of God in him. Mm -hmm. Two, the um, charity aspect of his life to the needy. Mm -hmm. Three, the technology that God has given to him. I love that. Four, his communication with the people. Mm -hmm. Five, his uh, humility to the people because every time we go to him, he, 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 he talked to you in a very humble manner, irrespective of who he is. But he talked to you as if you are a biological son or daughter to him. So that area of humility is something that, you know, I, I drive too much joy in it from there, and I learn a lot from there. So uh, he's a man that I love so much as a father, as a king he is, as an inventor. Mm -hmm. As a preacher, wow. as a prophet, as a as a as a helper mm. to to the nation. Okay, before meeting him, you know, a man of his caliber and with the kind of work he was doing out there, did you for once, I mean, envision the the reception, whether you be going through some protocols, you know, huge protocols, or were you expecting to meet a different personality? outside the things that you were, you know, seeing and willing to, to meet. How did you envision before meeting him? And based on the meetings that, or the reception, were you pleased after? Yes, I was very pleased meeting him. Okay, your first questions, my expectation, mm -hmm. how you're going to be meeting him. Mm. Me, like I said, my faith is so much in the Lord that Anything I want to achieve. Where will be paid? Anybody I want to see today, mm. my faith will make it possible. All I need to do is to sit down, think, who will I talk to that will take me to you? And God always makes that possible mm. for me. Many places I go, places I enter, where people write applications that will delay them for six months or one month or one year, by the special grace of God, it doesn't take me months or days, I mean, or weeks. Unless I don't want to meet the you person. So I, I was convinced in my spirit that I will see him without mm. too much of protocols. And to God be the glory, God and my son brought me to Dr. Wusu. The day I met Dr. Wusu, I was with him here. Quickly, he took me to the studio. Quickly, he, he, called, uh, he called home. And uh, daddy said, bring him. 
So within 48 hours of meeting Dr. Ozu, I met Daddy. And like I said, meeting him, I, I realized the man is very humble. So I, I don't think, I don't think he allows too much protocols, mm. seeing him, from what I saw. Mm. I, I realized. It's true. I realized that he's a man that he do, his doors open are open. his arms for all. Anybody can have access to him. So I didn't see him as a man that takes too much protocol to see him. Mm. <laughs> I was of all and come on, I had the pan. I said, I was a shame of boss, eh? Mitch Richie Mono. I think some men are going to say, I'm 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 going to say, i Onda o muni na ano na yeshasi if we aye minegana hasi I mean a man do do ana say yes then do do say we di ewo gana ha na his royal majesty kache mi so we di gana for twenty nine years ne ba ni royal ni na watina so for twelve years e kwa twelve years a ane sa we remo ane sa wa worry gana ni indeshi a one na wo ne ma unfortunately onti mi kachi you know ba ne ma di di eti eti chi ye bisa na mamre ene amane enso eho nsem eno kanse wono na bi di ka bisa i say esa say we obi a we de hie e wo nigeria e say we free royal home for nigeria and sana what me abeye ibukin e wo gana hasi na no so de bi na e ye ne manfo mo o my gana ha no o mo hwe ne nwuma pa ne ne ma pa a wo ye ntie hwe so a na ye de sa to me no amam na che say or here, no, so sano, a co, a cra, and a hinian, so ever twenty one form in a true sin, or so bumpa, so bain, papa. I would done a deep, a juma ding, I want ye boo a woman paying for, and any man for you now. These are some of the qualities I yes, and son, I yes, sir, to me, no. A mum, no, so dee, a hinian, no, to us, so, you know, in fear me, you know, and will be in it, he said, they be one also so pay, and then no more to us, and yes, I say, you're two almost so aba. Now, about two and a year, you know, none of for the drone as oh no, and no more penalty. If you want any what's not so, if you do me no any na me beside the center, oh, Pagana Hano, and you be a same with him who Gana for. Yeni, I did two years, was a Gana, a yasum, dear Mike, a Gana dear, ye dear, yasum, dear dear, ye can carry. No say no cry. Oh no, who so be too big to me in the session was a real self and any, and I hope a baby dear, as of Jay Wapa, Gana dear. I said the gun is it three and some dear what would two more just say gun and knee as in a noir. If so, said we ain't any crown, need the acca can would it go be che? Obey ma, need you may be, then you may answer to me a dippy. And I may say a baby say, Nay, yet ten pound of what's me dead, now mamre, a woman crumb, a bar say, dear be major, and so yet dear, a boom, sir, or dear a dinner, you know, oh, say yes, shay any Africa has here. Bibi announce on. Never my papa come here, no kitten kitten be. Na ye ne gana for na kasi ye ni pe bi ye di a mamre tumpa. Aye so mamre mu ye na inpo sofu kura e kwa kwa waria. Wode a mamre di a mano. Si na na nom na na se pe for se wode shina pe be toso. Ode ko eno ojo ojo e kwa se wono she mu vivi e fi ne kru mu e hono mu mu i na sofu inti we se no afa e ado kodo kodo ne man o se wode bi ya di a di a mamre tumpi. E man e ba e na ni ma be bi so hono ma e ni a di a se. A difference near much now called Nigeria. Omudi Ibo for Mudi Yam Festival. Oba Gana has here. Took the Togwe Afede with the Yam Festival. Oh, call Mimi Crow, who called Kranza, so so. Yedi Yam Festival. Eh, Techiman, Barrier Festival. Ye, ye, ain't he in Susu ye beer? Any more, a ma, a buana cramp, and also, eh, sir, a Ibo for a way you never come on one boom will be on my bear six months, a year, two years, no one called the crow. But Omudi. One more fashion or abba, one more nasiama, a drew horn or ma, or see if he's a break quite could see September. Mop him pam on one tidy at our grand would be asked, let them know so for Ukumbra. Now, me mean pam my tidy, never tidy, send me and your fellow so ever pa. Name me warrior. Enna, make me give you cover was oh. Now, why am I to win you now? If you will go ever fail, meaning say Utibi, and then you can ye pan or say, Esa, a fashion or a bois, Emma, 
Aye, di a month for soon ye, Juma, aye. Now become a count, count, say, We want more than any Juma way. Into a poma dinner, no, no, so a yeska, a dear free moon was in fact. A ma, aye, na him ye some non sono. I am red or my gun, her man, a person yet. A mamra sepa, and almost so drop a mamre. Now, say, beside say, Me name say, ba Nigeria, it's a gun as ye walk. A year, Kunko, and I say, I would do be bray ye walk. Tribes, I would do be bray. I would be our one, a mamre, not my money. Na and ye be a ebu phone quana, or more or more hino, or so dippy dippy dippy, and ye ebu quan. Na or can a year the northern part, a house of war, a war, a honomo, and na ebu four, a war, and then one a tribe, and so so, a war honomo, and so so, a hino hanoms. And a come here, you say, as a ebu phone quan, a year two or missing them at a house of war, a war, say, and na ebu four ha. And now, you're a bar, you're a bar for us or so. And what happens? I come and say, you perform one that's more so in fact, you before dear. Say, you will need to be a beer to say, yes, or borrow a bar or more pay you my ding or more one brassier or more for more boot paying for more pay or your mamma and your money. And in the way, that's all do baby, and I say, or more sentinel, a jibby beer, and in tenor, my own say, a able for one, let me be sad and say, I brought walkers and walkers are gonna fall, you are yammy. E wa bada ye ye ji a ho ho tu. A brebe yi, eni wo di shi ya, ye papa na bebe kwa anu te, nen kamo se. Se fa ye papa technology sa ide no, e ho pa ane ma, nen iba anu se yonu, yopi anu o shaka ntanke TV pa. Nti o shaye papa yi nyuma wo yi, ow, o kaya wo se, oh, datamo inverti ye, televisi yon ba wo nsem, uwe evu. Nti e kaya, kwa mi se se, uwe ni mna koto ka ntanke TV na sa okot na penti kos fwo. I'm sorry, that won't do me yon with TV, nen da, grab, grab, go mwen nsem bo di e. Nti e ne yi, and, Tia papa nse mba wo bo ye TV, ene sound system, PA systems, ene ade no. Na e ade ene bini mwonti ase ye, ene ade brant, e invete sa ade ene. So tia papa kase, eno pana, e tre eno ben, wunti wo she ya no se no. Na wansi, e mwenye soko e ni mwonsa ye tse se, ya papa ye sofo, mwonsa ye she, ado ye, a wansi ye ya, no se debi, e se mi timi, e hun, sa a o ni peti tiri, na o ti mi shira me, na me pese, mi su mi su ya ne ma bebe e fri ni wano, mi shira ne bi, me here. And to say, wait a year no go a year bantibi and a baby, a friend or a year golden to share no semi sesame go a year a papa into a son also make arrangement with Bishop Mr. Uso. Oh, if you dream has say ya or by any baby meeting Mr. Uso, a PV way or put a total demon name at talking with Bishop Papa. Or say, we share papa and papa say, me foul say, me ba. I wish him for His Royal Majesty, we a Nigerian. Our bets in Ghana, and now we are Ibo within the Ibo community in Ghana. Or you are Mohim Pong, or you King. Or no, no, I can't say with you. Or say, we share your papa, and we jail no one with no semi per se. We are only a papa copy. To the tangent say, one in the eldest, I call your papa fear straight to your papa bedroom. So quite a rapper. I say, I'm so quite a rapper. I say, to money sin us, and we jail one who felt so. Or say, they had, I want to quote His Royal Majesty. Also, we had a quality time with him. Also, we didn't even embrace a more daily plan. Kita hundi, you are more born come to move to move na. Now, me adu me do third February. When we say that on the plan, Emma Christa is a formation of Ghana. Also, so far, she na ya ne koso mu mpota na. If we hold him no, any time be ya, or we hold him be, I want him no. Any na a tonsa, a didi, a celebrity, so far she no. In this year, Kasafa. A legend, the living legend. So we say, ye disse ye ka, and I say, boss angu. Minim say, ma bomi humbo ding. At se chibi mu, e de at sure wo pa. Ensi ye guswa, e wo e ye enkomo bonu mu. Is your Majesty? Trust me, we we can't, you know, love you less. We we really appreciate your time so much, and the words of wisdom you've shared with us. We want to learn something from you. I mean, what what are some of the advice will you give to you know the young ones? When we're talking, at some point we realize you know when you you love your culture, when you believe in your culture, we see that to be you know the devilish aspect. So the Gen Zs, the upcoming you know youth, <laughs> we don't really pay attention to our culture. What do you have for them? Okay, um, my first advice to the youth is, first of all, you should know your creator. Mm. 
God Almighty. Mm -hmm. Everything that had to do with God gives you the opportunity to have morals. Two, you must be a hardworking man and woman. You must be creative. It's not all of us that go to school will do well in class. Mm. Identify who you are. Am I good in furthering my education or am I good in handwork? We identify who you are, then be able to follow what you have identified that can make you who you are. Here we are now. Everything here is all built by human being. Madam, from your hair to your lashes <laughs> to your cream to the paint you put in your face <laughs> <laughs> to your earring uh -huh. to your microphone to mm. your clothes to your computer to the chairs to the water. Everything, Everything. here is all manufactured sure. by human beings. Education is good. That is key to life. Mm. As long as this century is concerned, mm -hmm. it will enhance you in things that you do. But it's not everybody that will do well in classroom, mm. in quote, like uh, most things they do in Africa is uh, oral. Yeah. No practicals. Mm -hmm. Now, when you identify yourself, you plan as a young person, from now to 20 years of my age, from now to 25, 30 years of my age, who do I think I will be? Do I want to be a man that still depends on my parents? Mm. Or I want to be dependent of myself? Yeah. Will I get married at the age of 30 years? If I marry 30 years, how will I feed my family? Mm. So for that reason, education is good. But while I'm also schooling, I need to get something doing. As a young person, mm. you know all these things. Then you position your life before that 30 years. Mm. But when you want to sit down and say, my father is rich, my uncle is rich, mm. Uh, my mom family is rich, then you depend on them. Depend. Your time is just wasting. wasting. That man you depend on, the man also has his own children. The woman you depend on, she has her own children also. So she would not leave her children to look after you. You become a third class citizen in her house. The children are the first priority. But you can also go into business and do better than no. that rich man's daughter or mm. rich man's son. So when you look at all these things, as a young person, you'll be able to position yourself. So that, because in this world, believe me, as soon as you cross 40, small, small sickness, if it's not high mm. blood pressure, it's sugar. Arthritis. If it's not sugar, it's this. So <laughs> at that age, will you depend your life on begging for begging. money to go to hospital and all that? Mm. So you prepare yourself from your 40 years above by getting something to do as a young person. Now, our culture teach us all this. Because as we are growing up, somebody like me, I was born in the village. Mm. I grew up in the village. And our parents, grandma, grandpa, your own parents keep telling you, look at your mates, look at where they are. So what do you want what to do be? You be? These are all the cultures. Now, our people don't want to be like Jay-Z and all that. The people in Western world, they have no culture. That is why today, they will pass the bill for a man to marry a man, for a woman to marry a woman. Is that a culture? No. It's not the culture of Africa. So these people, they have no culture. They can naked themselves here. And what Africans, we can't do that. We can't do that. So when, we depend, when the youth depend on these people, that means they are going overboard. Running away from their culture. From their culture. And where they are running to will not give them what they want. Mm. It's only few of our youth that live like those people that survive. But many that want to be like them, they end up crashing. Most people even that train their children abroad without watching them closely, they end up losing them. Mm. It's true. But many that train their children here, that give them that close mark, they end up having them yeah. close to them. And, and even those having their children, at the you know, Western countries, yes. mostly they bring them they are bringing to... Them because they are home for training. We, we are Africans, so the culture is embedded in me mm. and you. So the youths should focus also to know much about our culture. culture. 
And the youth should also know that they're leaders of today, not tomorrow. Tomorrow yeah. is far. Yeah. Right now, right now, right now. Because if you look at it very well, most presidents around the world, their speech writers are youths. Yeah. yeah. Ministers around the world, yeah. their speech writers are youths. It's true. So a minister will be sleeping, or president will be sleeping, oh. or have a program tomorrow yeah. morning. He's yeah. aware that the speech writer is writing. writing. So uh, apparently, that youth that is writing your speech is the ruler. Mm -hmm. You are just standing there to read it's what. Read. The research he did is what you are coming there to give out to the people. So you should understand that you are the leader today. Tomorrow is too far. So when you understand this, you broken up. You will not sit down to see yourself, ah, I'm still 20 years, I'm still 25 years, I still have more time. Time wait for nobody. Mm. You are the time. You look for the time. Mm. You chase the time. Time will not chase you. Whether you sleep, you don't sleep, time doesn't yeah, matter. Just move uh, it. It's not looking at you. <laughs> so the youth should look at all these areas and prepare themselves for tomorrow. But to be honest with you, do know that people that are into manufacturing, handwork, farming, provision of our everyday need, they are making money every day. Mm. They are not broke. Sure. Now, fashion design. My dear, before we come, look at beautiful clothes you wear. Mm. Human being that made it. Mm -hmm. Your hair, human being made it. Maybe the makeup, how much do you pay for the makeup today? <laughs> now, do you think, I mean, you can pay less than 500 cities. Good. For makeup. Human being did it. Mm. Right? So that's money. Look at beautiful laptop you have there. It's human being that provided. Beautiful chairs, the rug, and everything. Mm. So, so there's money in provision of all these daily needs. Things. Okay? So people shouldn't be seeing all these things as waste of time. Mm. So why would I go and join? Why would I go and do carpentry? Or why would I go and do medicine? Why would I go and do building construction? Why would I go and be a seamstress? To me, everything I wear is all made in Africa. Or it's human being that sold them. Okay. I can buy the material in the market, but human being sold because well, you both can not show what I wear. Mm -hmm. They won't give me the African taste I want. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's expensive. Because they will charge you more. Yeah. So, so, so the youth should understand all these things. Know the area they can do well. Now, look at here in Africa. Almost everything we do here, they're all imported. So we are providing job for the people abroad. Abroad. Then we'll be taking our money away. Of course. So those importing ship load of rice. Mm. You provide money for the farmers. Mm. You provide job opportunity for them to work and employ their people and ship their finished product here. Those that... Hey, the beautiful hair you got, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> also you put them, you provide job for them. So, you see, all these things uh -huh. is job provision. Sure. So, with our money, we provide job for the people. So, time has come when the youth need to work up. We need to work up and say, we can do this. Can do and that. not just only the youth working up. Everything that had to do with production requires money mm. for capital, for starting. So, government should also help the youth as soon as they come up with things out of their brain, the government should have a provision on how to govern it and make sure the youth start up something. Mm. If the Bank of Industry can carry it on, that will help. If Minister of Trade and Industry will carry it on, that will help a lot. What do we need to do? As a young person, you can have, you can invent on how to, maybe how to do this bid. What you need to do is to go there. Which government need to have a structure like that. Mm -hmm. Go there. With your business proposal, some might not know how to write and read, but even the ministry or that department should have even those that are able to develop their business assist plan for them. them. Assist them. Develop a business plan that I can do this, I can design this, so I need 10,000 Ghana cities, I need 20,000 Ghana cities to do this. Within five years, I'll pay back the money to the mm. government. Government can even own it up and even place the person on salaries. Salary. And the company grows. Within five years, the company is okay, then they can take their money back, money back and the business it. continues. At the same time, people also be employed. So, but it, the youths are discouraged also when they come up with all these ideas and nobody's giving them money to do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so while we're encouraging the youth to get something doing, the question there again, even if they get something to do or they want to go into farming, how can they? Mm -hmm. Farming in Africa today, it's just manpower. We don't need that no. anymore in the 21st century. It, it, so that rice we bought abroad, look at the mechanism they're using that. 
and mechanized uh, farming and all that. So, but over here, it's not like that. So the youths are discouraged to go into the farming. Mm. Even if they borrow money going to the farming, after one year farming or two years, they cannot that. sustain it. They get out of the farming because no support, no encouragement, either from, from big brothers, those that got the money, mm. or from government and all that. So my advice to the youth is don't be tired. Keep pushing. Keep moving. Think about your 30, 40 years of age, who you will be, mm. so you will not be a man that will depend on somebody before you can eat you food. Can eat food. <laughs> Wow. Now, I, 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 wanna, I want you to share with your experience after meeting Apostle Gwajosefo. Were there a moment he, he shared something with you that touched you, that has shaped you in a way of your ruling? If you can, you know, share that. I mean, if there has been an influence that he has had on yeah. you in any area of his work. I remember, I keep hitting on... Uh, the technology. Uh, not that area. Keep hitting on how humble he is. Oh, yeah. His humility. One of the things he told me is, uh, my son, irrespective of your people choose you to be their leader or to be their king, you must be submissive okay. to your people. When you submit to them, they will also submit back to you. So be humble mm. and not to be a leader that want to be everywhere. Things she's supposed to do, do it. Things someone is supposed to do, allow them to do it. That will also bring glory mm. back to the throne. He also spoke much about God, 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 God. Mm. And there's also a strong language he dropped where he said, in everything you do in this world, believe you can do it. Mm. He now said, it he called it, spirit. he can do spirits. That thing alone is a is a is a wonderful driver mm. that drives my life. He said, "The spirit of I can, I can do, do it. do it, and don't be afraid." So that is a tool mm. for me. I picked up from the advices he gave to me, and uh, he's also a man that the mysteries of things that he he, he talk about is so deep. deep. That when you sit down with him, he, he take your mind very far, far that you never <laughs> even think of. And, and as he's talking, mm. he's demonstrating. As he's talking, it's assumed it's assume that you are seeing what he's, what talking, he's about. talking about. You understand? Mm. Talking about 16 DC, 18 DC, <laughs> all those things. Oh and he's God. able to take you through. And he will take you through. He never miss any words. Mm. Things that he's telling you, wouldn't you? You see the reality immediately. Mm. So, and uh, uh, also the things that he had done to do about technology and all mm. that. Yeah, he also told me much about agriculture. Mm. He told me when Ghanaians came back from Nigeria. These are, uh, I mean, and even um, the during the farming um, era, Good. the eighty-three. Good. You know, era. Yeah, Pastor he told Pastor Kojo donated yes. 8,400 bucks just to Kumasi, the people yes. in Kumasi alone. Yeah, he told me. He told me that he donated food and everything. Yeah. For, and we for, have that picture, too. I mean, the one that the people that came from Nigeria. Okay. And even apart from that, those from Liberia, yes. too. Yes. And in a way, he became the patron at Bujumburam. Yes. You know, that environment, yes. feeding them yes. and all that. Yeah, yeah. he told me. So sure. he said... Famine is key to life. Mm. Uh, famine is, is key to life. I should also be a strong farmer in my life and encourage other people to be farmers. So, are so are you a farmer? <laughs> Small. Small. <laughs> <laughs> Small. So there are a lot we, we take home mm. from him mm. and still more mm. we want to take from him. L looking at him is you know, philanthropic work, the, the charity he's been, you know, doing, buying bulk or chunk of food, donating to people. Do you think an ordinary man will be able to do this? And not just within certain period. He's been doing this over the years. Sitting here, I've interviewed a lot of people. The disability, you know, 
that fully, you know, people that when you see them taking care of people through the education, the vocation, I mean, uncountable. As an ordinary person, will he be able to do it? And it, I mean, growing up, you've seen a lot of people, you've dealt with a lot of people. Is he, do you see him to be a, a superhuman or the God in him is more than the normal being? That is what is making him to do all these things. There's something I said from the beginning. I said, many are God. Few are chosen. Few are chosen. When Christ was here on earth, the birth of Christ is like mysteries, right? And a lot of people did not believe who Christ is. And at the same time, there are a lot of apostles of Jesus and disciples of Jesus along the line. And they were also performing different miracles. Some might not perform miracles, but the word of God out of their mouth mm -hmm. worked the miracle. Mm. And the character of these people also worked the miracle. There are thousands of people in those days, but Christ did not choose them. God did not choose them to follow Christ. But, I mean, Christ chose these few apostles and the disciples that moved with him. Mm. So these few were chosen from Christ and they were doing extraordinary things beyond human understanding. So that's how also, I also see our father. Uh, I'm not just seeing him like ordinary human being like me and you. Mm. You know, many a time when I sit down with him, I see him, he, he changes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> oh, you've seen so, that. <laughs> yes, yeah, sometimes, sometimes you look younger. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you look old, you know, just like that. So to me, God really chose him for a purpose. And at his age, he still look young. He, he, his senses are working. If you come to him today, what he tells you today, tomorrow the same thing. Mm -hmm. He never miss words. Mm -hmm. So he's a human being like me and you but extra, extra, extra human being. <laughs> the spirit in him is what I don't know. Mm. But all I know, God indeed chose him to do something for God on earth. Okay. But very soon we'll, we'll be wrapping up, but I want you to share with us what actually sustained you peacefully in Ghana, even though Ghana is a peaceful country. But there were things that you did back then that has been able to carry you through. There are a lot of Nigerians in the country, and I mean, I know everywhere there are bad nuts. You know, I know there are Ghanaians over there as well, and some there are some bad nuts. What advice do you have for them in order not to, you know, complicate themselves or even, excuse me, but I have to use it, bring shame to the people of Nigeria? When you know God, God directs your steps. And the word of God will never put you in problem. Mm. Word of God will rather shape you for you to know what is right and what is wrong. When people, when people know what is right, they will never have a problem. Mm. But when you are mistaken or misplacing or placing wrong to right, then you see you're having problem. Mm. Then many people, when they commit crime or when they get into problem, they say, oh my God, I didn't know. Mm. I didn't know, I thought I was doing something right because they don't know God. So my advice to every Nigerian in Ghana and also Ghanaians mm. is yeah. for you to know God. When you know God, hold your steps. Everything you do, God will direct you. People will think it's magic, it's not magic, but because you know God, he will never want you to be in shame. You know, because he, God, God knows how submissive you are to him and to his words and to his direction. So he will not allow you to make a mistake. Because when you make a mistake, people will laugh your God. So God will not want you to laugh at him. But God will always want you to, you know, be exalted. So when you exalt, you also exalt so him God because, because he's the highest. So when you know God, you'll be able to do better things. But if you don't know God, that become a problem. Three, you must respect mm. your elders and the people around you. Mm. Any child that respects his elders, the elders 
always give you a good direction that will help you. I said something, I said, the elders were there before the king was born. So there are elders before you, a, a child came. Mm -hmm. There's a father, there's a mother, uncles, aunties, grandpa, grandfather. What they know, you have not even said how much more knowing it. Mm. So when you respect them, they'll be able to say, ah, this girl is a very gentle, respectable girl. You know what? Go over here. There's a business here that can change your life. Mm. Mm. Call Mr. A, B, C, D. Tell him, mm. I ask you to come. come. I can see you are a very humble girl, humble boy. If I entrust this business in your hands, you will do well. Go there. Your life changed. But if you're an arrogant girl or boy, he will not give that. Yeah. If you're even coming, his own, this idiot is coming. They'll <laughs> stop talking. So when, when people know all these things, then it become easy for them to excel in life. But when you make yourself as if you are, you are, you are the Lord mm. over the people, even those that were there before you came in this world, because you know you are a heavy man, you're a pretty girl and all that, they will look at you and leave you. Just waste your life and end your life. Do you know there are a lot of young people today, God has blessed them with money from their businesses, but they could not expand their businesses. And they need they they have any setback in that single business, then they become poor. Mm. But if they are respecting the elders or people around, they'll say, come, I can see you are doing well, this is your business, but assistance now you need to also divert. This computer business should be going on, but now you have to engage in camera. You have to engage in fabrics. So you can have three, four, five business. So this three, four, five business gives you money, money. every day. If there's any sit back on this Should one, you are standing here. So it's only those you respect that, can direct, that you. can direct you. But when you don't respect them, they will allow you, even they'll be praying for you to... to Fall into to... the ditch. <laughs> 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 OK, before so, we wrap up, we are so, in the month of, you know, our father. That's his birth month. And I know you will have one or two words for him. I mean, what are you saying after? If you have any message to your, you know, your... your the people you rule, or your elders, or yeah. whoever you can say. And I know very well you'll be sending the message to your wife and then your children as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. That day, also for Christ, also for was born August twenty six. Twenty six. Yes. Yeah, 26. Every next year. Week, next week Monday. Every year, <laughs> I wish him happy birthday. Every year. Wow. Every year, I wish him happy birthday, and. Um, it is my prayers and the prayers of all the Igbo community mm. that Daddy will live more longer for us. Amen. That he will cross over 100 and keep going Amen. with good health. Amen. And uh, it's also a prayer that as the Lord is using him to be a blessing to the world, not mm. to only Ghana as a nation, mm. God will keep using him more. Amen. Because the purpose why God brought him here, he has not finished it. Amen. I know there are many more things. Look at these uh, supplements he came out with. Mm -hmm. There are too many testimonies of mm. these. Sure. And God will keep him more for us so that many more of these will come out mm. to be a blessing to the world. Mm. So I wish him happy birthday. But there's another thing here. My beautiful wife mm. was also born 24th of August. Oh, wow. Hey, so, I see. So... So coming Friday. Daddy and my wife mm. shares bed months. Mm. No, Saturday rather. Yes, how's it Saturday? That is only on Sunday. So uh, that is to also let you know that we have that spiritual bond mm. within and around uh, Daddy. So I want to wish uh, Daddy happy birthday in advance. Also wish my wife happy birthday in advance. And also wish the people of Igbo community in Ghana mm. a successful uh, Yam Festival celebration coming up on the 15th of September, okay. 2024, at the Children's Park opposite Kimpiski, opposite okay. Children's Park. Mm. So I'm also inviting you, inviting everybody yes, here to okay. come <laughs> and celebrate with us okay. our Igbo New Year Festival. Last year was so powerful. We had over 15,000 people last year. Wow. And this year we're expecting to have more than that number. Because when you come, 
you are that's addition to the number, right? Mm -hmm. As yeah. much as you can. <laughs> so you are invited to come and celebrate with us and okay. also those things you see in television mm. about people culture, come and see it live. Mm. See our masquerade. Mm -hmm. Come and see our beautiful outfit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you are invited. Okay. And everybody are all invited. Ghanaians, Nigerians, everybody mm. are invited to come and celebrate with us. I also want to say a very big thank you to the people of Ghana mm. for giving us the opportunity to live in their country, wonderful country, and giving us the opportunity also to always celebrate the world culture in Ghana, the diaspora culture. It's a collaboration where Ghanaians display their culture, Nigerians display their culture, and other people wouldn't around. So we are strengthening the culture of Africa in diaspora. Mm. That's all what we are doing. Just something to thank God for. Because yeah, festival is all about thanksgiving to God. God has given us the opportunity mm. to, you know, plant our crops. Also giving us the life for we to live and uh, harvest those crops. So we are giving him thanks. Mm. Ask him to give us life more for we to be able to, you know, go into famine again this year and reap what we have sold. So it's all about thanksgiving to God Almighty. It's not anything fetish. It's thanksgiving to God Almighty. So come and celebrate with us. Okay. Thank you so, so much, Good His God. Royal Majesty. I mean, I know you're a very busy person. And as a king, by now you'll be in your comfort zone. I mean, chilling with your beautiful wife. But you've made time out of your busy schedule to be with us and then share a very, you know, knowledgeable and wisdom with us and then the entire people and with our father as well. We don't take your time for granted at all. Thank you so much. We appreciate. I Because His Royal Majesty, I mean, he's full of wisdom. And the Nadia <laughs> Kakrebi, any to me is a CD. A more macanade or cocker crash. In this way, a bayou, we are branches on us or money that will boom paying for. When I'm quite busy, not as I quite know, Cocotta, many more. Obit me a direct two way you were from your business, be company with me direct two more ideas and want me flourish in the area of your business. In tea, self food tool or demying. If you sign a say, Papa, or corn, who know me, beer, when you are any, you know, positive influence and as impact me. I want to saw a ball, no so na he near wood dear no say. No cassin ya nano at some an walk at the key ye pa ye say papa won brass ye na home brass was say. Sa wo per se wut me a di in a di ye and ma won fe fo nya nya was some fast or no mid in a dear mawa. A din can boot one man for. So when you boom so di any di in a bem mum, na mo wa hin ye a cosro, and so the cook tea, and ye wa betty say man inko you was soon, and cassa won't walk in it, and to be uncle too. I say what me boo, my son, so one money to me in a mouse, but I be do a muscle. It's in your soul, Babby's fratna, or my betty. I feel so sonno. As I said, what me a you be a who walk a do me any dee, a moun penny for. In tea, son, a moun we say, in I dear, who swear for no end, I yam ye, or ye papa, just what you be a one by ye. And tis a dear, I did be a strike and a fine net, not something trick as you say, and no a ginger night in a copper, a can do spirit. Papa said, Who be to me a year? So one of you to do no chess, I said, What drink eight on two? I drink a double trimono. I said, What to me ye? Say, Nay, what to me are saying, your television, your name of the bread. What to me are one so, who bit me a dear, he and I say, Who be catcher on who say, Who bit me a year? Say, Winning ya, sir, met me a year, and may ya could do so on now. Now, men so become home. I'm a dear way in a day, a year, sir. No, we are not on and suffer with us in a mere duma, September. Most of me a baby remue. Mobile do my fashion, I can see no Ghana for better or more mammadi. Do your phones so on a book phones, my do my just say, Aye, you know, a mammer and kuan or muda, they do honour to me. I do my children's park. I walk 
e wo opposite ken piski hon ho na dwumadie ni nyina e ba koso nti obi a wo to nsa e fre obi a so obi a so so e ma wi e no de a wo da pa enso ma ye papa se nya min hira no ma ni 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 kwatenten a ho di wo ma fe so e ne dofo nya me adom a saturday so e no so ne dofo a wo da nti nya no wo ma se sa bond no e wo ho no ma se 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 papa wo da bo so me mu e mu anso ne wo ne ho keni nti nya me adom a me me da so e ne ho keni enso a wo da so ma no a wo da pa so what done pa nya me in sha no pa nti na ha say e na ne 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 ko mo bon ye die se na wonim se me tena se se ya emulate about supplements no me ba be che obi o so ma to me bo se ne de won man kam e wo ma che che ne manu mu ama wan kasa 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 nti me sere wo se wo fre na mbi sa se mbi sa na e se wutimi etwa e de e ma me nti me so me dia sra kese pa e ma no nti ne enwure o penyi na me ne ne tena se di nkomo e his royal majesty is a Dr. Ambassador Chukwu Di Jude Ihenetu and Ono a e paramount king of Igbo community eh, in Ghana and Ande Neneno Echuche Enkomo. Once again, thank you so much, His Royal Majesty. No for God, subscribe to Master Manager Niger News. Subscribe, okay.